There are different names that people have for the holidays, but more properly, we have Eid al Fitr, which is Eid al Asghar, you know, the holiday of breaking the fast. Are the little festivities, and this is at least the first of the tenth month, which of course starts at a sunset, ending Ramadan, and Eid al Akbar, the tenth through thirteenth of the twelfth month, Eid al Adha, the festivities of the sacrifice, and it's also called Eidl Qurban, Eidl Bikram, or is it Bikran, or something like that. Um, and the ears are something important to look at in terms of whether an animal sound for sacrifice. And so you look over the eyes and its horn and feet and stuff like this to make sure that it's healthy. And so instruction number 53 or, you know, letter 53. Ashtar was appointed governor of Egypt. And Egypt was, you know, said to be the longest territory that they were that they had. Um, and it was thought to be the it was the place where they thought the more attractive women were. Of course, um, that word Arab, which comes from the ancient Egyptian term outside of the nations um, sort of thing. Um, but basically, the people from that region, just like in the northern Semitic term Arab, which means mixed. So obviously, they're going to tend to find their own group more attractive and a healthier area to live in terms of its abundance of produce because of the Nile. And stuff like this, um, and work ethic and stuff like that, that would um, definitely um, lean things in that direction. And the purpose of such an appointment would be to, you know, deal with the enemies of the Islamic State and to focus on obeying God and focus on. Um, Affecting out how things are abroad, which, you know, like that one issue in Surah 4 that's addressed in a couple different ways refutes a lot of the bad claims against Islam. And so if people judge by the Quran uh, rather than um, piecemeal accounts where they remember a phrase out of context or something. It's going to keep the hearts from inclining towards evil and towards mercy. And Egypt was a place that was known for both oppression and justice, and, you know, depending on which area, which age. So we need to control our feelings and our emotions. We need to work on the mentality that would weaken religion and therefore weaken our ability to respond to such things. And it's only natural that people are going to make mistakes, but it's for people to acknowledge them, at least to oneself. And remember that the oppressed well, that prayer is heard.
So you don't want to be somebody who oppresses. You don't use your position over people to um, you know, keep them from you know, providing for themselves with the means, you know, with, and remember the, you know, people are going to come with pleas. Those in charge, um, whether it's the courts in terms of the law or some civil matter or how to run the government, people are going to come. And everyone's got to be careful of not just not going forward to who comes with you in the most pleasing way onto how your character is. And one is to be steadfast and not hold back, just to hold back and not to give, just to just to give. You're supposed to be temperate. Perhaps what you say liberal in a good way, but not liberal in the way of letting aside religious and family values to uh, fulfill an agenda like a lot of people think is the case of, um, you know, the, the term as liberal as in a type of interpretation. And the virtuous are in a tend not to be vicious. They're going to be hard on evil and ignorance, but individuals themselves, um, not, not quite thing. Um, and everyone has sort of a share in the society and what's fair according to one's uh, position. And there's a difference in how a non-Muslim would be ruled and how a Muslim would be ruled. But that doesn't mean the lower this and sort of thing that people tend to think. Because if you look at the modern Western nations, you are going to find out that the Vindi is much better treated than those of the modern Western nation. That a slave is much better treated than you would expect with um, a general lower classes or even middle class employee. Depending on which angle you're going to look at. Um, And the little things add up, or the little things make way for the big things. So. Like it says in Surah 4, 59. Ya yuwaladina manu wa teula wa teurasula wa Notice how the emphasis is on the obedience of God, or what's revealed to the prophet of the time, and the obedience to the prophet, so the inspired word. But there's not the further emphasis drawn on those in authority over you. And so if there's any disagreement, now we shouldn't be trying to enforce our mere wants or tastes or mere opinion upon, over others, but if there's a disagreement, we refer it to Quran, we refer it to what is believed, Prophet Muhammad said, and, you know, remember our belief in our day of judgment, belief in God. And if the meaning is clear to us, this is what we should focus on acting on. And referring it to what's agreed to be 
the way of the Prophet. You know, people say Sunnah and Hadith, you gotta figure out what type of Sunnah and Hadith they're talking about, but, you know, there shouldn't be any differences among the people in regards to that. If that's done. And if somebody's going to pass judgment, well, that should not be um, something that's done to trouble the person who's going to pass judgment. And there's another verse somewhere I can't remember at the moment that we are, you know, we're supposed to, um, you know, if we withhold judgment, you know, it's our right to withhold judgment. But if we judge, we have to be equitable. And let's not imprison the religion in the hands of a few. So if each of us learn and all that, if everybody gets opportunity to earn a fair wage, in my country the relative wage has dropped so much that the number of people on disability is way, way up because comparatively they would have been able to earn a living. Um, you have to have like 10 times farmland to earn a living and people would have you know, they would have grown food for the family and sold some off to the side and um, done some crafts and some side jobs to earn, you know, more than they need or something like that. And that would be done. But most of those people are on disability. Um, people who can work a few hours a day, they're on disability. But back in the day, that wouldn't have had have been the thing. Um, And, of course, when using force, the point is to recover what's been misappropriated. To set an example of, like, I was witness to what they would call a Sharia court, and in regards to um, somebody had decided to steal some money out of the collection box, and they were told, you know, you know, they basically judged in, in a way that, you know, you pay more back to the box. And then, of course, at, at this moment, we can't trust you to have a key to the building because, um, you know, you might end up here alone and be so tempted again. But some of those circumstances can eventually reconcile themselves. Now, if a person goes to prison or jail, usually now, um, and loses their job and their home and all that other stuff, um, the odds of them trying to get revenge or, or whatever for people saying, you know, we can't, we can't be stolen from, um, is much, much higher. So there's ways of dealing with it. Um, and if there's something wrong with how things are dealt with, with the poor, it can cause all sorts of problems with the land. And there should be an open communication with the grades of the government. And the traders and the builders and all sorts of people should be consulted in regards to the, uh, well, the, 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 well how, how the funds are used towards public projects and towards the uh, flexible laws, you know, like traffic laws, that sort of thing. Um, And just because somebody has to go from afar to come and either pay their taxes or uh, collect their due from the state in regards to um, some mutual enterprise, you could say, you know, because when the state does good, it's supposed to bounce back upon the people, not just upon the rulers, uh, which, of course, you might look up to and all that. Um, but... Rights are a very serious thing. It's better to ignore than to violate a right. And some people need fear. Some people need hope. Um, you don't want to be too wasteful. You don't want to not give enough. And some people are going to be appointed or consulted or whatever because it's easier for them to deal with. Um, but, you know... And when it comes to uh, the dealing with the enemies, 
hey, if they're trying to negotiate peace, if it doesn't hurt the country, negotiate peace. And sometimes it even brings people into the faith that um, there's been an openness to negotiate of that peace. Kabura Maktan in the lie and And remember, if we're going to say something, let it be the sort of thing that we would do if we were of those means. And don't be too hasty. Realize the best time for something and the best amount of time. And those in charge perhaps shouldn't get the first share because, well, if their share is due to them, whatever, but if people don't get their share, you know, that's why the officials should... But, you know, that's one of the things that my country doesn't operate on, is we don't operate on the principle of that. And if you don't, if you're not sure about what's best, it's sometimes best just to stop and focus on the honor, not just of oneself, but the honor of whatever, Being, be willing to be a martyr. Don't be in government if you're not willing to be a martyr for the cause. And saying 53 reminds us that generosity isn't forced, it's one's own choice. Now, you may fulfill a requirement because people have been uh, bringing it up or whatever. And it's fine for people to have self-respect or to avoid uh, criticism, but that's not as good of a effort. 